The headline this week, four powerful telescopes agree interstellar comet 3i Atlas really is bizarre. This is from a variety of outlets. New information here is both NASA and ESA, the sort of North American and European space agencies, have used their instruments, Hubble, Sphere X, JWST, and TESS, capture images of the object as it makes its way towards our sun. Yeah. So what's new here? So what's new here is um, we've, we've actually gotten really nice data. And they're converging on trying to identify really what this object is actually like. Um, it turns out to be the third interstellar object, right? right? Which is um, a, an object that is not part of our solar system, that is literally going from star system to star system around the galaxy of right. the Milky Way, right? And this is yes. our third one. That's why it's called 3i. The i is actually for interstellar. Ah, there you go. And 3i Atlas is because Atlas was the program that d discovered it, right? And with comets, you really want to look at the thing when it's close to the sun. Okay. Because that's when it's doing the most cool, crazy stuff. Right. Okay. When the comet is far away, it's just a chunk of ice. Mm -hmm. But as it gets closer to the sun, it's going to start interacting with the solar wind. Mm -hmm. It's going to start interacting with the photons that the sun is giving out. So then there's right. going to be chemical reactions and physical reactions happening on top of the comet. Right. And that's what we want to see. Right? right. In the very like way way out there when 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 we tried to look at Three I Atlas. Yeah. Right. It was like really bright for how far away it was. Mm -hmm. And that's what gave rise to a lot of these alternative theories about like it's like artificial and all the this light, other kind the of stuff. The light's not ref reflecting from the sun. It's yeah. generating its own light. It's generating its own light because it's so bright. Like, how is that possible? Now, as it got closer, actually, so August 6th is when J James Webb looked at it. Yes. And the preprint came out on August 25th. Yes. They were fast about this because yes. they know that like they, people yeah, want yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the preprint came out like literally they, they had like what? Like 20 days yeah. to do all of the... People were upset about how long it took. Yeah, yeah. So they they um, they analyzed the data from James Webb Space Telescope. It used um, one of the instruments that is a spectrograph. So it can tell us things like the composition of this thing. Yep. And what they found was a really high mixing ratio for carbon dioxide and water. Okay. okay. So usually the mixing ratio is quite low. Here it's eight to one. Okay. Okay. There's yeah. eight times as much CO2 as water. Right. That's like a lot. Yes. Okay. And that's very unusual for comets in our solar system. Correct. Okay. So that means that this thing, there, there's two possibilities. Okay. One is that when this thing was born, it had a very different birth environment than the comets in our solar system.